Declaring victory with votes still being counted, Kevin McCarty ready to take up the title of Sacramento mayor. But his opponent has yet to concede. We've got a lot to get to tonight here at 10. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. The race between McCarty and Dr. Flo Kofer has been closely watched with the city deciding on a new mayor for the first time in eight years after Daryl Steinberg decided he was done. Let's take a look at those numbers right now. They have been so close this entire time. Now with 74% of the vote in, Kevin McCarty, a slight lead with 50.7% of the votes to Dr. Kofer's 49.3%. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Madison Keevy, tracking this race and another one that's still too close to call, Madison. Yeah, local races here with razor thin margins show that voters are split right down the middle. A sign of division that pollsters say winners are likely going to have to address when in office. We expected a lot of close races. Let's start in Sacramento, where Assemblymember Kevin McCarty declared victory Tuesday over Dr. Flo Kofer. In a statement, McCarty said, quote, I am honored to be the next mayor of Sacramento. Thank you to my incredible supporters and campaign team whose dedication and hard work made this victory possible. He went on to congratulate his opponent, Flo Kofer, who was not conceded and says it's clear voters want to see change. Homelessness, the top issue according to Political Data Inc. Well, this division in Sacramento with our homelessness issue is similar to the division that we see around the state and around the country. Another race closely watched, District 13, which covers a large part of the valley from Stanislaus County and south into Fresno County. A rematch between incumbent Republican John Duarte and Democrat Adam Gray. So close in 2022, both candidates went to orientation in Washington, D.C. before the race was even called. Tuesday night, Gray took the lead by less than 200 votes. And it's possible that this lead is enough for him to, for Adam Gray to hold on to and win this congressional seat. In a statement, Gray told CBS 13 the race was too close to call, but that he was hopeful for his chances. All of this coming down to the wire. Counties must have results certified December 5th. Now, with numbers like these, you might be wondering about recounts. California doesn't have an automatic recount law, which means if a campaign wants one, they must request it within a certain time frame of the final results, depending on how many precincts, counties that are involved, they're responsible for footing that bill. Something to think about when you only have yeah, a couple right. hundred, couple thousand separating yeah. two. And the McCarty camp must have some inside info on where the remaining votes are coming from to perhaps make it clear that he's the winner. Right, and we'll yeah. hear from him first thing tomorrow morning, so, you know, might be one of those questions they address. Right. It is to speak to, though, as to why these races are so razor thin. It shows that they have to speak to their constituents. Absolutely, yeah.